Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to make a quick uh, one take video to uh, show you and tell you what's going on in the theater and with this channel and just my plans. Um, this is going to be uh, kind of an update video and I guess a build the number two in the current new space. Some things have changed since my last video. Biggest one being is this um the back wall where the screen is i completely blacked it out and first off it just it looks incredible um it really does make the theater look a lot more um like a theater in my opinion and there are definitely some benefits to doing this and it is relatively inexpensive so first let's talk about that. This wall is um, 15 feet wide and about seven foot, um, seven foot, seven inches tall. Uh, so I went to my local fabric store and bought uh, triple black velvet fabric material and pinned it to the wall just with black thumbtacks. Now from this distance, which is approximately 13 feet back where I sit, um, it looks really, really good. As you get closer, you'll start to see some of the wrinkles and just with the odd shape of this wall, um, there's almost no getting around that. But again, this far back, you really can't tell. Um, let's go in for a closer look. Here you can tell there's some wrinkles and that's because there's a door behind here. So I had to put this up in a way that would allow me to get access to that whenever I need to. But, um, I mean, you won't even probably be able to tell on this video where the wrinkles or imperfections are even being this close. And that's a good thing. This material is so unbelievably black. It is very impressive. And I know people have tried to do something like this with paint, but it's actually really hard to do with paint. Um, you know, even if you go into your local Lowe's or Home Depot and or Sherwin-Williams, whatever, and ask for the just blackest of the blackest of paint, it's it'll start off really black and then it just dries and not ending, it ends up not being as black as this. So this triple black velvet is an extremely good and um, cheap way to black out your um, your screen wall or whatever wall you could put, you know, this in every wall of your theater if you wanted to. But um, it cost me probably about $150, I think, worth of fabric to do this 15 foot by seven foot wall. And not only does it look really um, impressive, but it bumps up the perceived contrast of what you're watching. Because when you're watching um, anything on here, even with me painting these walls a um, darkish gray, there's still a small amount of light bleed. And unfortunately in here, that's got this faux hardwood floor, which I'm going to be looking for a giant black or gray carpet. Um, but uh, for now, um, some of the light, you know, kind of reflects off of this floor and off the ceiling but this really helps to bump up the perceived contrast of what you're watching. And also it, it really helps to draw your eyes to the screen and eliminate distractions. So when there's a particularly bright scene and it's shining on the side wall over here or on the floor, it really helps to draw your eyes to the screen only. And it makes the screen you know, with the lights off and everything, it makes the screen just pop and stand out that much more. So um, I highly recommend this to anyone um, in any space that they have. It's a relatively inexpensive way to um, get these benefits. 
uh, by blacking out the wall. And it's if you don't want to paint your wall because you don't want to have to to repaint it when you move out of your current apartment or house. This is a really non-invasive way to get that effect. And if you watch for the right sales, um, you can get this stuff pretty cheap. I think the regular price on this at my local fabric store, it was $20 a yard, but I waited for a sale and got 30% off. So it came to about $150 for this amount of material. And the thumbtacks are obviously super cheap. So I could not recommend this more. Um, it just, I've had the time to watch three different movies on it with it completely blacked out like this. And it just looks incredible. It's really awesome. Definitely changes the viewing experience. I wish I had done this in my old theater. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on with the screen. Um, I also installed two uh, two foot by four foot, one inch thick ceiling acoustic panels. And that also serves two purposes. It serves the purpose of blacking out that ceiling because of the space. Um, I definitely don't want to paint the ceiling and then have to repaint it when I leave. So um, yeah, uh, that serves the purpose of kind of blacking out the ceiling a little bit and minimizing the light reflections that bounce onto the screen. Also, it serves the purpose of dampening this room because with this faux hardwood floor, there's a lot of reflections in here. So I still have two more acoustic panels to place on this wall. I got these ones up, but they also have the speakers in them. If you remember that from an older video, if not, definitely check that out. But yeah, and then another thing I was able to do since my last video was install these two Dolby Atmos height speakers. I still have to install two more, but because of this horrible soffit that contains the air return, uh, it's even shorter. I think it's, I mean, I'm six foot tall, so when I'm standing under it, there's maybe seven inches of headspace. So, um, and because the air return is right sandwiched against this, you know, it's just the sheet metal and then this, there's nothing really to screw to. So I'm not going to be mounting the uh, speakers on this. I think I'm going to build a very rigid um, piece of wood that um, will attach to the studs that run along here on each side of this uh, closet where the water heater is and the furnaces and have it just come out, you know, maybe four or five inches and then goes across and connects um, right there. And so they will be mounted and facing downward. So they'll be mounted, you know, right here and there. Try to keep them the same spacing as these two speakers, um, which I think are five feet apart. I need to get a wrench and tighten that so that these can be angled at a 45 degree because right now they are not angled at a 45 degree and that is the recommended angle for Dolby Atmos speaker placement. And uh, the wires are hanging down because I'm still doing wire management. It's gonna end up looking better, but um, you know, no matter what type of space you have for your home theater, whether it's, you know, it's your own house, which obviously you can do more, take more liberties, um, if it's a house you're renting or an apartment, wherever you are, there's always things you can do to get around certain problems because not everyone's going to have the perfect room. And some people are going to just, you know, have to wait until they can buy their own home and, you know, do a dedicated room the way they want. And even when you get your own house, sometimes you don't have the availability to, you know, build a space from the ground up exactly the way you want it. So, there's always things that can be done to get your ideal setup of, you know, whether it's 5.1, 7.1, 7.1, um, and beyond, just whatever configuration you can think of. There's always things that can be done to get you the best possible results. So even though this uh, space is not completely ideal, I know it's better 
than what some other people may have. Not that I'm bragging or anything, definitely not bragging, but um, I mean, I'm just, I'm grateful for what I have and the space I have, but yeah, it's not ideal, it, it, which, you know, it would be nice if it was larger and longer, taller ceilings, but you know, I'll get there one day. I'm currently saving up for a house right now. But yeah, this is some of the wire management I did. I just attached these pieces of wood to the studs that run this way. And then I attached the wire um, hiding material right to it, which was, you know, made it a pretty neat, clean transition. And so I had to get a longer four foot piece that runs across here and then it's gonna slide down that way and then go into the closet and this will push back. So eventually I'll get this, you know, rat's nest of cables neatly tucked away. So I'm still working on my wire management. The theater's still kind of a mess, but uh, it's coming together. I'm extremely busy with my new job. It's extremely physically demanding. So um, things are moving a little bit slower than I'd like, but I still have time to, you know, watch, you know, one to three movies a week and work on um, the theater when I'm not completely exhausted. So yeah, what's in the works is me eventually putting up two more acoustic panels on this wall. And I have been building my, uh, custom speaker cabinets for my LCR speakers, my KEF, uh, CI 3160 RL THX in walls. Uh, because I don't want to mount them into the drywall. I just don't want to have to repair that when I leave. So I'm making a custom box for them. Plus they'll sound better in a custom box. And um, I almost have, I have two of them nearly completed. Just waiting for the binding post to get here. And then um, the third one is uh, all glued up. It just needs some finishing touches and needs paint. But once I have those done, I will do a video on me um, installing them, um, my thought process on making them, the design, and then I will be putting them um, on a French cleat behind the screen. The screen, by the way, is uh, also temporary. I will be upgrading to um, a much better screen material. This is just gray, um, spandex from my local um, fabric store as well. And this particular fabric, even though it improves the black levels, it's quite horrible for its uniformity. You can even see right now with the lights on, there's these um, vertical bands, you know, it's hard to see, but maybe it comes up at the right angle or distance. But that shows through on movies, so it's like lighter parts and then darker and then lighter and darker. It's not sure how well that's going to come through, but yeah, it's it's definitely uh, horrible for watching movies. So I'm looking to uh, purchase some screen material, DIY screen material from Carl's Place uh, here real soon. I'm going to place that order probably today, and then make a new frame. Um, it's gonna be the same size, or it might be just five inches smaller diagonally, but um, it's acoustically transparent and it'll look 10 times better than this. But um, this was just temporary because I just, I wanted to watch movies. So again, the, the spandex was a good quick option, but um, yeah, this particular gray spandex has horrible uniformity issues. So I don't recommend it, but doing the DIY method of white spandex um, is still a very good solid method for people wanting to save money and there was no uniformity issues with white spandex. So don't let that discourage you from making a DIY screen. Again, check out my older video on that and how I made one because it is, um, it's, it's really, really good. And if, uh, the screen hadn't been damaged from my cat scratching at it so much, I still would be using that instead of this gray material. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. I have a lot of videos coming up. Um, I'll continue to update you as the theater is put together. And 
anytime I make any updates, I will be filming that. And I have a whole bunch of different videos coming up, series coming up. Um, I'll be running some REW tests on my KEF uh, loudspeakers once I put them in their enclosure. I'll be testing the sound output of them with um, a batting inside the enclosure and then without the batting and see which one sounds better and performs better. So I'll include those measurements in a video. I'll give you guys a um, update video once I get the new screen. So content will be coming. I know the last few months on this channel has been a little crazy as my life has been um, changing very, very rapidly. But I'm still committed to at least one video a month. I'm very, very committed to growing this channel, and you guys are definitely helping me do that. So um, that just about does it for this um, one take update video. And if you like this channel, please uh, thumbs up. Uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section about anything or any questions you might have. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and share this content with your friends. Uh, if you guys can help me get to that next goal of 5,000 subs, um, I would greatly appreciate that. I know you guys can do it. You help me get to uh, 1,000 quite fast. You guys are awesome. So yeah, um, enjoy and happy listening. Cheers.